What's up you guys, Zoe here for OneGlanceTrader.com and welcome to episode 15 of my eToro copy trading journal and this is where I go live into my eToro account and show you behind the scenes of where I've invested over $4,000 into live copy traders. So I'm not placing my own trades, I am quote unquote copying other people's trades of people that I have decided to invest in and let's see what the outcome is. So I'm taking you behind the scenes into the into the backdrop so you guys can see with full transparency in terms of how much money I've made or how much money that I've lost. And if you like the sound of that, all I ask for in return is that you smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification. And in this and in the description down below there will be the playlist so you can go back and check it out from episode one where I invested one thousand dollars into five copy traders and now up to eleven copy traders uh, investing over four thousand dollars. And all also in the description is the stats page uh, for my own profile as well as all the other um, copy investors that I do. So there should be 11 links there down below so you can get into that and check all that good stuff out. And um, so let's get right into it. So as you can see here overall I am up $218 which you know is higher than where I was back in episode 14 where I showed um, how things are going for um, uh, for June and um, overall I'm very happy with the outcome that we've had and for those of you who've been following me for a while will know that the account took a bit of a uh, bit of a downturn during the months of February to April but I kind of changed my strategy invested into some more uh, diverse copy traders to allow me to hold and recover this position as well as start to get that growth again which is what we're seeing so if we have a look at um, my stats page and as I mentioned inside the thumbnail is you can see here that June we closed at 3.26% return and that is the best month that I've had since I started going all the way back to November 2020. So if we look at this overall in terms of 2021 year to date we can see we're up 6.41%. So that is assuming that I invested X amount right at the beginning of January and left that all the way across uh, until until today. Uh, in terms of absolute dollars terms it's not 6.41% because I've added uh, to my account as time goes on and I've added new copy traders as my as my account goes on but overall I can't really complain for literally you know two minutes of effort really of depositing and finding a copy trader um, which I've kind of enjoyed the process of looking through the eToro platform and trying to find a, a good copy trader to uh, to copy um, managed to get 6.41 percent return which is great and um, you can see here we are six days into July and we're slightly down 0.32 percent you know and you know we've we've only had a week's worth of trading and yesterday was the uh, bank holiday of um, inside the US for July 4th so the stock market was closed and you know I'm hoping to see a good rally uh, this week to get me into a uh, positive territory we quickly see from a risk score perspective we have started to uh, drop down in terms of the risk score back to around three which is great and um, you can also see here that I've still got my two copy traders so whoever you guys are please please feel free to reach out really uh, really glad that you guys are still copying me I think I've got to as high as seven or eight copy traders from memory so uh, hopefully as uh, as time goes on I'll start to build up uh, more more green months as well I think we should be inside a good place and then lastly you know I've talked about it many times is on my stats page because I copy a hundred percent of people um, it only shows that I've done 11 trades which basically means I've invested into tw 12 11 people which is why it's not showing like a hundred or 200 but we'll see in a second that uh, I I have been placing through the copy traders into stocks indices cryptos and all that kind of good stuff from there so just having a quick look at where my uh, kind of portfolio is at the moment um, you can clearly see here that um, we are we are doing pretty well overall in terms of out of the 11 um, one two three four you know so seven of them are profitable um, and Jay as always as you guys know is uh, smashing it in terms of my not only the largest investment but secondly um, the highest percentage return as well across the board and Kanzo 
Uh, you guys remember when I've added him in there. Um, he's also done really, really well as well. And in terms of my new, my two latest additions, so remember Robert, um, he started, he started to turn up a profit and the uh, quant trader, Lauren, um, in a slight, <coughs> sorry, in a slight loss, but nothing really too concerned there. And Federico as well, you know, copying the ARK Invest portfolio, the growth uh, disrupted tech kind of um, ETF that he's trying to mimic. Uh, he again, you know, was down about 10, 11% at one point, uh, but he's pulled that back and half that deficit uh, from there. One thing that is also quite interesting as well is when I go in and look at um, each of these copy traders and look at the amount that I've actually got invested. And if I can show you this, for example, for Jay, um, it doesn't give me the percentage, unfortunately. Um, let's see if I can look at someone like Kanzo. Um, yeah, so someone like 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 Robert's a good example of where I've invested five hundred dollars, but he's only invested uh, eighty five dollars at the moment. So we still got around four hundred on or four hundred and twenty odd dollars sitting in cash. Uh, waiting to be used. So again, these are examples here of even though I've only made two hundred and sixteen dollars, not all of my four grand has actually been invested. So there's still more time to um, uh, to uh, to go with this, and that's similar across the board across most of, the, especially the especially the new uh, new traders that I've added to my portfolio. Um, and lastly, what I wanted just to quickly to show you is how my portfolio looks on a assuming I had a $10,000 account uh, and I invested 10 grand at the beginning uh, back in uh, back in November 2020. And you can see here that we had a nice rally up here all the way up to 11.5. And as I mentioned earlier, February to kind of May was kind of a, a massive downturn with interest rate scares and growth uh, having a bit of a, a bit of a downturn. And then I have started to, within this period here, change the amount of the types of copy traders that I'm looking at into more diverse areas of stocks and crypto and uh, and uh, indices and currencies. And as you can see, we've had a recovery uh, as well. We're nearly back up at the highs of just under just under 11.5. So really happy with the way that things are going. And you know, if you guys want to give Etoro a shout, you know, check the link down below. I really hope that um, that this was useful. On the screen now, we have got my options trading uh, playlist if you guys are interested in options trading and also the playlist so you can go back and check out the previous episodes so really hope you've enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe and share and i shall see you guys in the next video